Hello everyone, Paul from High Tech Legion, CES 2014, and yes, we are with Nero. We're going to go ahead and talk to Stefano about Nero Back It Up 2014. But wait, we will also, after CES, have something new coming up for you. You remember our reviews, you remember the press. Nero 14, the whole platinum version is out. And we're going to take a look at that a little bit after the new year. But let's take a look at Nero Back It Up 2014 right now. Stefano, let's go ahead over to your uh, display and take a look at that. All right. So um, this is the, the version, basically the product we are showcasing here at CES. Um, let me just explain you the setup uh, so that people don't get confused. Uh, we have uh, the PC client which is this one, and then I have basically mirrorings of uh, both the iOS clients and the Android. Android client. And yeah, that basically brings me also to the point that this solution, the Back It Up product, is not only a PC-based product. So what we're seeing here is a um, cross-platform solution. We do have native clients for mm -hmm. uh, um, Android, as I just mentioned, for iOS. We have the PC client, and we have also just released, together with the iOS client, a native Windows Phone 8 client as one of the, wow. one of the you know, not so, many, not so many manufacturers have that. We have a uh, Windows Phone 8 uh, native back, backup client. Um, you probably know, well, you know very, very well that we've had the, a backup product in the past, in the previous version of our suite. Mm -hmm. Um, previously, it was included in the suite, so okay. when, when you basically you bought our Nero 12 product, for example, or Nero 11 product, one of the tools you got was also the Back It Up product. What we did this year, uh, we basically took the 2014 Back It Up product out of the suite, um, so that basically you can download this as a standalone version. Okay. Um, suite users or suite buyers um, will have the, the chance to integrate the back it up product within the suite if they want to. Okay. Um, but we basically took a look at what uh, what we're hearing from our customer base, and we just said we just thought that it makes sense to have a standalone application um, extend the, the the use case not only to the PC but also to the mobile um, platforms and have basically a, a standalone type of solution. Um, we have done this. We have focused on the on the back it up product and change it from the previous version a little. Okay. Um, we used to have functionalities like um, system backups, for example, mm -hmm. which is not included anymore within okay. this version. So it's basically, it has basically become a very simplified, simplified um, version of what we had in the past. Simplified in a good way. Uh, there's a reason why we took, took the uh, system backup out of the product. Basically, uh, from research we've done and also from talking to our user base, we found out that most of the people were not doing it. Right? Okay. Because uh, that goes back to the, to, the, to the fact that we have uh, um, modified the product, simplified the product, mm -hmm. simplified because uh, we found out basically that um, backup is a, very, um, is a very important topic. You know, mm -hmm. Everybody knows that you should be doing backups of your stuff and you know, there's a, there's a risk of losing stuff, right. losing memories basically, that's what, mm -hmm. it, what, what it's all about. But most of the people do not do that. And the reason, for, because the reason why they, not do, they don't do it is that um, most of the applications have bad usability, a very technical topic, uh, you know, scare, usually it scares people off. Mm -hmm. So we thought, let's make it as simple as possible. And we have modified the type of approach for all the clients. Um, it's very easy. Let me just minimize this one and get this one down. Uh, very easy to use. That's the, one of the main focus we've had in the product. Um, what you do basically is you um, subscribe to cer certain folders. You can okay. go down to a file level if you want mm -hmm. to. You, can, you could even select an entire drive. So basically s subscribe to a source, mm -hmm. go to the next step, select the targets that you would like to have for the backup. You see that we have uh, different targets that we can Multiple provide. Multiple right. Um, because, again, um, another, another focus or one of, one of the biggest differentiators that we have in our backup software is that we do not force people into a certain 
type of use case, so we do not want to force people to go online, to push their content online. Uh, most of the people do not want to do that, so Understood. we still provide the options to stay local with different type of, uh, of, of targets. You can do a local drive if you have multiple drives in your, in your PC. You could use an external drive. Optical disc is still one of, the, one of the important targets. A lot of people like to burn. Mm -hmm. use disks to archive actually their backups because they feel this is a very secure way of doing it. Network, meaning uh, network shares, NAS, mm -hmm. NAS devices. And the back up product comes with uh, different flavors of online storage that you can buy subscriptions for. Okay. So, um, yeah, you could use online as one of the sources, which okay. is what, what I'm going to do now. Um, so select the online um, target. And then you can set up basically the, uh, you know, how the, the frequency is supposed to be Okay, done. yes. Um, what, I've, what I haven't mentioned so far is that we, um, the Back It Up uh, software comes as a free to download uh, application. So if you go to our website, you okay. download your software, you sign into your, to an account or you register for an account, you get five gigabyte of, uh, of uh, storage for free. Okay. And what you get is, a, is basically a light version of the PC client. Okay. So meaning that uh, this light version, this free version, uh, would have only manual backups. All these other options would be grayed out. And with the first paid subscription that you can get for uh, $1.99 a month or $19.99 a year, you basically get all the automatic or the automatism for the backup. So you can basically schedule a backup so mm. monthly, weekly, daily. Continuous backup. Continuous would mean you subscribe to a folder, as I just said, and any time that something changes, changes it'll folder, automatically, it'll back, automatically it up. back up. So okay. it's basically free of mind. You set it up once, and you're and you're good to go. I'll uh, select now the manual backup, and yeah, what it does basically, it starts the first backup. Um, for the manual backup, um, which is what you get basically as a free to download version. Um, we do not provide the automatic uh, okay. the scheduling, but we do still help the customer out, meaning that if you subscribe to a folder and something changes into that folder, the application will basically tell you, hey, it will look, come out. Okay. there's something new in that folder you subscribed, mm -hmm. click on backup again, you need to do another backup. Otherwise, you do, you know, you do your continuous, you pay for, for one of the subscriptions, you do the continuous backup, you don't have to care about that anymore. Right. Uh, so this is for the PC side. So as, you, as you've seen, a very, very simple way mm -hmm. of, uh, of doing backups. Um, we have, as, as I mentioned, different, different clients. Yeah, the, the mobile side. for the iOS and then so also Android. Let me just show you one of the, one of yeah. the cool things we have for, uh, for Android. I'll just pop up again this, uh, this uh, mirroring. Um, so the same, same approach as, uh, as the, the PC client, um, select what you want to back up, okay. select where you want to back up, different type of, uh, of targets, you can use your, your subscription, free mm -hmm. or paid for, whatever it is. Uh, you could use the SD card, probably not the best way of doing it, Correct. not the most secure way of doing it. Um, very neat option, uh, at least I like it a lot, is the PC uh, type of uh, backup, which means basically pushing what you have selected as a source to your PC okay. and from the PC basically determine where that stuff is supposed to be okay, saved. So you can uh, set so it you on your Wi-Fi connection? Exactly. You can basically, um, through scanning the QR code, mm -hmm. as long as these devices are on the, sa are on the same Wi-Fi, um, you can set up the, an, the a scanner. peer peer-to-peer -peer Wi-Fi connection. Oh, very good. And that's it. You hit the backup now button, and then and it just automatically goes goes via to wherever you have decided that it should be. Going. Very good. That's pretty nice. Um, meaning that if you if you move, if you select another source, I'll just show you. It could be your your drive mm. selected. It could also be NAS. So you're basically pushing directly from this device to to whatever device storage. Understood. For example. Um, yeah, so this is a very, very, very cool option with regards to the home, uh, to the um, mobile clients. Um, so Android is a, is a possibility. Uh, iOS, I mentioned before. Same thing, same type of uh, user interf interface. So basically, also the same, um, same way or same workflow. Um, 
same as you have just seen for the Android. Uh, what we will be releasing uh, soon uh, with regards to the um, to the uh, to the mobile clients is not only backup and restoring basically, mm -hmm. or not only backup, um, but also access. So basically, you see here on the bottom, you will have uh, access to that mm -hmm. cloud storage you have. So if you have push content to the cloud, uh, you can basically view it, you know, browse it. Uh, if you have videos and music, you will be able to stream that mm -hmm. to your device. So it's not only um, it's not only basically just simply doing the backup, uh, but also being able to access this, these files, which is a big differentiator for the iOS, for example, because using and staying in the, in the iOS environment would mean using iCloud, for example, mm -hmm. as a as a backup. Correct. Uh, you know, um, option, and I, uh, iCloud does not allow you to access the files. It's just backup, restore, mm -hmm. but no ac direct access. Right. Uh, last but mm -hmm. not least, Windows 8. The Windows 8, uh, Phone 8 client, same thing, same type of UI, obviously uh, adjusted to the to the to the, to the Windows platform, UI, right? right? So the same, uh, you have the slightly different way of working mm -hmm. with it. Metro, but the the use case is the same, right? And here again, this is something that uh, we will be releasing. Uh, actually, I think for Windows Phone 8, it might already be released. Mm -hmm. uh, the same thing: access not only backup but also access to your to your okay. uh, to your cloud storage. Um, if you're um, PC based, um, the, the way that you access basically the cloud storage that we provide is through a browser application. So you basically will be able to go to the uh, NeuroBackup.com website and then log into your account, access uh, what, if, what you've backed up. For um, photos, we have two ways of basically watching or accessing the content, sim simply file-based. Mm -hmm. um, so basically re we, re we recreate the folder hierarchy that you have mm -hmm. on your different devices and you can browse down to whatever content you need. Or um, you will be able to uh, do a um, uh, yeah, let's say a filtered way of watch or looking at the content, mm -hmm. um, meta, meta, meta database way of looking at the content. What is nice about these views, for example, for, for, for photos, as I mentioned, uh, there is, uh, you can, I don't, know, I don't even know if I mentioned <laughs> it before. Um, we have four different flavors. Let me, let me, let me explain it from that. Uh, for, the, for the backup subscriptions, we have the free one, which I explained mm -hmm. in, the, uh, in the beginning. We have the first paid for, which is uh, $199 or $19 uh, okay. dollar a year with five gigabyte of storage and all the automatic and mm -hmm. scheduled backups, so more functionality on the PC client. Uh, we have a 25 gigabyte uh, subscription, which is which is a little more expensive than the as you go up, it as just you go up. It, it escalates a little bit. But the same functionalities mm -hmm. for the PC client, and then we have an unlimited subscription, which comes for $49.99 uh, a year, a year. and unli truly unlimited cloud storage. And uh, compared to some of our competitors, also unlimited devices you can attach to mm -hmm. that to that subscription. So basically, no no limitation with regards to mobile devices five PCs that can be attached to that account. So that means that you will be able to back up your stuff from different devices to one location in the cloud. And this goes back to the fact that uh, the metadata, mm -hmm. uh, the filtered way of accessing the content, so basically clicking on photos and then being able to see all the photos that I've okay. pushed from all the devices. Mm -hmm. So an aggregated way of basically looking at my content. And the same thing goes for, uh, for uh, videos and Videos and music, yeah. very good. Yeah, that's. Uh, I think I mentioned everything. Um, other than that, this was a tour. Well, thank you, Stefano. Remember, high tech legionnaires. This is CS 2014. We're here with Nero. You just got an upfront view at Nero Back It Up for 2014. Thank you, Stefano, for helping us out today. Thanks for having me. See you the next time. Have a great day. Bye-bye.